Hey, let's talk about speed rapping. There's a few things that go into speed rapping. So there's a few dynamics. When you're speed rapping, you wanna think about your delivery, your time, enunciation, so pronouncing your words, Correctly, rest time, breathing control. So let's talk about breathing control. That's the one of the most important parts of speed rapping. So learning your you want to learn where your breathing control is. So some people can rap for as long as two bars and then take a breath. Some people can rap three bars and then take a breath. Some people can do four bars and take a breath. So finding where your uh, where your breathing capacity sits is important. That's the first thing you need to understand. Two, you need to understand timing. So when it comes to timing, it's all about uh, being able to count how many beats per minute is uh, on the instrumental or the track that you're rapping over. So you do that by either you can you can snap with the beat or you can clap with the beat. Some people uh, clap and then snap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get it? So usually the beginning of a bar will be with a drum. The two will usually be on the two. So it'll be like boom, clap, boom, clap. Boom, clap, boom, clap. Okay? So the third thing we want to talk about is your, your uh, pronunciation. So when it comes to speed rapping, being able to pronounce your words correctly and clearly too. Because some people can, the problem is with some speed rappers, they can speed rap, but people can't clearly hear what they're saying. So you got to be very, very clear because uh, that's a big part of speed rap. You don't want to be like sounding like you're mumbling and jumbling your words together. Okay, and the way that you make that better is uh, write out your lyrics or you can take somebody else's lyrics too. It doesn't matter what the lyrics are. Um, once you get those lyrics, um, you can either use a beat or you don't even have to use a, a beat. What you wanna do is just start reading the lyrics at a normal pace. Once you get it, remember it at a normal pace, go a little bit quicker with it. Once you go a little, a little bit quicker, maybe say like it's 1x. 1x is the normal speed. Then go uh, 1.2x. Then, you know, do 1.5x. Then go up to, you know, 2x so try to go as fast as you can with the words but the whole object of doing that is to pronounce the words correctly and say them clearly so that's three pronunciation so learning how to say your words correctly clearly but at a fast pace okay so once you learn how to do it without the beat I want you to do it with a beat, okay? Um, uh, 
the best practice when you're doing it with the beat, I know it's gonna sound crazy, try to go faster than the beat. If you can do it faster than the beat, it's gonna be easier to do it with the beat, you feel me? So, um, the fourth thing we, we need to conquer when you're learning how to speed rap is delivery. So delivery is a whole beast within, within itself. So the thing is with delivery, when you're speed rapping, you wanna see what tonality you wanna do it in. You can do it in a low tonality or you can do it in a high tonality. Um, also with delivery, delivery also has to do with when you're going to, uh, when you're going to, you know, uh, say a word or how you're gonna say a word. What I mean by uh, when you're gonna say a word, like say like a beat starts, like we say it with timing. You go one, two, three, four. You know, people usually start rapping on one, but maybe in your song, you wanna start on the two. So you'll be like one, two, and that's when you'll start rapping. Some people start on the three. Some people start at the end of a bar. So understanding that aspect of just rapping in general is part of delivery. Delivery also um, is, you know, the style that you want to convey. Uh, it could be a lazy style. It could be a frantic style. You can have um, a laid back style. You can have, um, uh, some people do gangster, uh, persona, what, whatever you want to, the, like, whatever you want to make your art look or sound like, that's, that's delivery. How you gonna deliver it to the person? You know, and also, when you're speed rapping, you want to uh, focus on, we say, breathing control. So, the breathing control comes with, um, well, there's two things that's going to go into breathing control, is learning how to say your words clearly, like I said before, but being able to rest properly. So a rest is when you pause in your rap. Two, with breathing control is getting your lungs stronger. Uh, this is probably by far the most important thing when it comes to speed rapping. Um, you want to do breathing exercises. Um, and, and it's a it's actually a third way too that you can do this too. So once you remember your lyrics, uh, do cardio. So do running, whatever you do for cardio, on a bike, rowing, you want to get super, super tired and then rap your your uh lyrics so but if you're enjoying what i'm telling you and what you're learning on this video i want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you if you're really really interested because i'm gonna bring always bring more material and um with that being said with speed rapping, it should take you around. Uh, if you incorporate everything that I'm saying, I believe that you could develop your speed rapping style within the next three months, dude. Like, but it has to be something that's very, very consistent. You can't be like, you can't do it for like two days and then stop for the rest of the week like practice every single day so uh 
the big thing with the practice is put put your lyrics somewhere that you know that you're gonna see them every single day. So if you're writing them on your phone, print them out, put it on your wall or your refrigerator. Um, however, you can make it your screensaver. However you want to do it, just make sure you see that you know song or make sure you see your lyrics for that song every day and practice with your speed rapping um also uh, one more thing a bonus tip when it comes to speed rapping if you want to get better and clearer whenever you're speaking or doing your speed rapping you want to practice doing tongue twisters. So uh, go on, you can go online. They actually have books on Amazon too. You can buy uh, tongue twisters and just go over those too. And the faster you can do those, man, your speed rapping is going to increase by two to three hundred percent if you can do those and do the things that I told you prior. So I don't want you to take rap as, it, it is a hobby, but in the end of the day, you need to take it as a business. It's a business. It's your business to be great at hip hop or at rapping. So that's how you use uh, speed rap or increase your speed rap abilities. This your boy, G for show. Remember, subscribe, hit that bell. So you get the notification for my channel and I'm going to keep bringing you information every week, at least two times a week. All right. Peace.